10 Marvel characters clearly inspired by Superman Superman is often imitated in other media. Marvel Comics has hundreds of original characters but still happily imitates Superman at every opportunity. DC's Superman has had many imitators over the years, which makes sense considering he was one of comics' first superheroes. Superman still stands out as one of the most powerful and decent heroes to ever wear tights and a cape. And while many of Superman's imitators come from his own universe, quite a few exist outside of DC's boundaries. Marvel has introduced their own popular heroes over the years that have served to separate the publisher from its distinguished competition. Though there have also been quite a few characters who are similar to or seem directly inspired by Kal-El's origins or Superman's power set. Number 10 Hyperion Hyperion leads Marvel's Justice League, the Squadron Supreme. The Squadron Supreme is Marvel's take on the Justice League. They've taken many forms, from benevolent dictators to the unabashedly evil Squadron Sinister. But these alternate reality heroes are always led by the godlike Hyperion. Regardless of his point of origin, he always shares Superman's basic powers and iconography. In recent iterations, Hyperion was the Eternals' last surviving member. He was sent to Earth and raised by a human family as Mark Milton. Hyperion is able to absorb cosmic energy, which gives him incredible strength, super speed, flight, atomic vision, and a weakness to the isotope Argonite. Though hardly alone in this regard, he's usually considered Marvel's Superman. Number 9 Gladiator Gladiator is the Shi'ar Empire's Superman. The X-Men were the first heroes who encountered the powerful alien named Kalark in 1977's X-Men No. 107, though he was better known across the galaxy as Gladiator, also known as Praetor of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard. He eventually took over the entire Shi'ar Empire as its Manchester. While his origins differ greatly from Superman's, his incredible power set included enhanced strength, speed, durability, flight, and even heat vision. Along with his cape, he was an obvious Superman pastiche. The biggest difference between the characters is that Gladiator's abilities are based on his self-confidence. He's extremely confident, of course, but a moment of self-doubt can destroy him. Number 8 Superior Superior was a Superman analog with a twist, published by Marvel's icon. While Superior doesn't exist in the Marvel Universe, he was created by Mark Miller and Lanel Francis Yu from Marvel's Icon imprint as a creator-owned series that featured an analog of Superman with a twist. Equally inspired by Captain Marvel Jr., he was a young man with multiple sclerosis transformed by an alien into his favorite comic book hero. While the premise is more like a Faustian Shazam, Superior's enhanced strength, flight, and overall look owe a lot to Superman. His sci-fi origin feels like an inverted Man of Steel's and he lacked the Golden Age Shazam's trademark sense of whimsy. Like a lot of characters, he's a mashup, but Superman is one of the most prominent ingredients in his recipe. Number 7 Omega Omega the Unknown is Marvel's strangest Superman. One of Marvel's oddest characters was Steve Gerber's powerful alien survivor known as Omega the Unknown. Omega escaped to Earth from a dying world and shared an unusual connection with a young boy named James Michael Starling. Starling not only dreamed about Omega's exploits after they happened, but he also began to display the hero's powers. Both Omega and Starling turned out to be mechanical creations designed by aliens. The two were forced to share the same power source until Omega's eventual death. While the story took several strange turns, Marvel made no bones about this character's inspiration, from his cape to his boots. Number 6 The Silver Surfer The Silver Surfer is an inverted Superman. The Silver Surfer doesn't look much like Superman. And when he arrived on Earth, it wasn't to save the world but condemn it. However, he recognized that this one planet was worth saving from his master, Galactus, and ended up imprisoned on the planet he'd fought to save. Everything about the Silver Surfer's stories reflects distorted aspects of the Silver Age Superman, where Lois and Clark have their reliable relationship. Norrin Rad pines for his true love, Shala Bao. Superman absorbs sunlight, while the surfer is powered by cosmic energy. Superman was rocketed to Earth, where Rad was stranded in an unfamiliar world and had to learn about humanity as an adult. He may not have been a conscious commentary on Superman, but he's still a profound commentary on the Man of Steel and superheroes at large. Number 5 Blue Marvel Blue Marvel is a true hero. Blue Marvel is one of Marvel's most interesting Superman variants. Yes, he has the powers and the costume, but he also has a unique backstory that stands out. Always a brilliant black hero, Blue Marvel's skin color threatened the racist systems he was surrounded by. Like the black Captain America, Isaiah Bradley, a fearful US president asked him to retire from heroism. Unlike Superman, Blue Marvel is unambiguously human, even though people respond to him with senseless fear. He's able to respond to hatred with maturity and decency. Somehow, he's managed to hold it in check, but there's a justified anger in the Marvel that's rare in superheroes. Number 4 Icarus The Eternals' leader, Icarus, is coded as an alternate Superman. 
Icarus is one of the most powerful Eternals, Marvel's pantheon of immortal superheroes, not just red and blue like Superman. His incredible abilities almost precisely mirror the Man of Steel's. While Icarus and the Eternals were themselves used as inspiration for Jack Kirby's other cosmic heroes, DC's New Gods, it's easy to see the influence Superman had on Icarus's design and personality. Icarus drive to protect humanity while the other Eternals segregated themselves makes him more like Superman than their shared powers ever could. Number 3 Zorin Zorin the Sun God fought for his world's survival. Marvel's Illuminati attempted to manipulate cosmic events from behind the scenes to protect Earth for years. Though they were eventually forced to take a more active role when a series of multiversal incursions threatened to destroy their entire reality. These incursions saw a number of alternate Earths nearly collide and merge with Marvel's reality, threatening the inhabitants of all worlds. One of these alternate Earths featured a Justice League pastiche that was led by Zorin the Sun God, who displayed devastating powers similar to Superman. He managed to defeat the Hulk and nearly saved his Earth before the Illuminati destroyed his planet in order to preserve their own. Number 2 Virtue Virtue was tricked into believing he was an orphaned alien sent to Earth. When the Skrull homeworld was destroyed by Galactus, the creator of the Super Skrulls empowered his only son with incredible abilities and sent him in a rocket to Earth, where his shape-changing powers disguised him as a human. He was raised as Ethan Edwards and grew up to become a reporter for the Daily Bugle, as well as a superpowered hero known as Virtue. Virtue eventually discovered his origins as a Skrull and began to think of himself as a monster until his human parents and his short-lived partnership with Spider-Man convinced him to remain a hero. Like Superman, he's an alien whose family taught him to be human and moral, distilling Superman's essence in Marvel's pages. Number 1 The Sentry The Sentry was the Avengers' main powerhouse before turning bad. Bob Reynolds was transformed into the powerful hero known as the Sentry after he drank an experimental compound that was designed to replicate Captain America's super soldier serum. This somehow gave him the power of a million exploding suns. The Sentry's mind didn't handle his new powers well and it created a dark alternate force known as the Void that threatened the Earth almost as often as the Sentry saved it. While their origins are very different, the Sentry is still known as one of Marvel's most potent Superman tributes, and even wears the S on his belt, if not on his chest. I appreciate your support and feedback, and I'm always looking for ways to improve and create content that you enjoy. So if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.